What good is a clock that stands still? I ask myself after I find it still sitting there upon my window sill. After all this time, then I begin to think, staring at its elfin face. Of all the years this small clock has endured, as it moved indifferently from place to place. Beginning, of course, with my grandfather, from the time of the war to today and hereafter. This face has gazed at countless sun and moons. This metal has felt the distant fire of bombs, despite it being no stronger than a common spoon. Passing it all from my grand to my father, and then, of course, to me, then it deserves a thought. So I face it then, amidst my boredom, hoping it would unveil itself like an aurora. But then I notice, as I arise from my sea of thought, I've stopped, just like this elusive clock. Is it night? Is it day? Who knows? Not me, that's for sure. Will I be able to find my way? Unlikely. I can't even recall why I came in here. Maybe work. Oh well, I'll just sink back down into all the possible words. Wander, ponder, and then smolder. Run and trickle, small and fickle. What's that sound? Oh yes, it's me, sinking all the way down. Mimic, mimicking, mock and mocking. Mocking? You mock me? Oh no. I mock you. What are you to me? Nothing, and also anything. But if anything, then truly nothing. A broken nothing. It's actually quite sad. You're beyond all sense of good and bad. Tick, tick. Don't you remember? It sounds just like a click. <coughs> struck by stillness, like lightning struck its hand. Was it dropped? Did it hit the floor with a hard fud? Who knows? It's lost, so what does it matter? The answers were, long ago, all told to scatter. Then what good are your hands or your numbers? It won't be too long till all your worth is torn asunder. Like the hieroglyphs of Egypt or Latin hymns of Rome, one day this clock will be little more than an old tome. Yes, that's it. There's no point to you at all. I've done it, haven't I? Yes, yes I have. I've solved it. Eureka! I've beaten it. So then why do I have this feeling coiling in my stomach? Defeated, I return once again to the clock. Then I sit and gather up my slabbered thoughts, piecing together my shattered mind, now only wishing for it to be a bit more kind. I draw comfort from my memories that arose on this odyssey of sorts, from the world war then swept to the life of my father until finally washing ashore back in this room where I started. As the flutter of my heart steadies and the speed of my breath slows, I let out a sigh what good is a clock that stands still? I'm not sure, but perhaps a way to look upon it lies in one's own.